The old feed mill in Denmark is being transformed into an, into an art studio, display room, and so much more. Emily Dean joins us live from the mill to explain. Hi, Em. Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everybody. Yeah, the old feed mill in Denmark is now the Mill Art Center, and we are on the second level out here, which hosts the Academy of Fine Art. Molly Johnson is here to explain a little bit more. How did the Academy of Fine Art come to Denmark? Well, in 2005, Norma Bell and Craig Bleitz started the, Acad the Kiwani Academy, and last year Norma retired, and Craig Bleitz stayed on and is my artistic director, and we moved it here to Denmark. Uh, we have a curriculum, we have uh, nine instructors from throughout the state and Chicago who come up for weekends. Uh, we, we are on the figure floor. Uh, Mark Zelton is here, my, one of my instructors. Yeah, Mark, you um, are going to talk to us about the curriculum. We have a handful of students that are enrolled. we got a couple out here working on their projects. Tell us about the curriculum they're working on. Well, at the Academy, the uh, students get to benefit from the work of not only the, the nine staff here, but also the masters because we start the curriculum based on uh, cast drawings, as you see, and, and from old master works. They also do uh, master copies, which do rough drawings of the masters to learn composition and color and design. And then they work in the life room from the figure, for the, from a model, to learn how to do uh, figure work and fine-tune their seeing and drawing abilities. It's so great to have that all out here at the Mill Art Center. And Molly, you had to get a lot of the equipment too to make this happen so tell us about that a lot of the equipment came with the school when I purchased it but you do uh, models or students need easels for their figure floor they need them for their studios they are uh, held accountable to film their studios uh, quite a bit themselves uh, but there are certain tools and supplies that a student will need and you need the area because this you actually put in windows and let the light in but you had to cover it up with curtains because it needs to be dark so they have that lighting up top um, there's Michelle over there she's a student and she's working on her project right now Michelle why did you enroll into the Academy of Fine Art uh, I enrolled I wanted to perfect my drawing skills I wanted to learn more about uh, mixing color looking for value studying the masters now tell me about your project that you're working on right now it's just beautiful uh, this is my second cast we do two casts at the Academy uh, this is what it's an oil cast um, Sappho is the name she was a lyricist years ago 1400s I think um, basically le we learn to sight size we try to make it exactly as you see the cast we go after the values in the black and white prior to going to painting in, in color and what you're using right now to help you what is that uh, this is a mall stick it, it balances your hand you can keep your hand uh, so you don't touch the oil or if you're working with charcoal you won't smear it that's unbelievable and what's your goal you know for the future how long do you want to stay in the Academy of Fine Art when do you want to be done well <laughs> Uh, I want to be done so I can get out there and, and work and start creating some of my own pieces. So, Well, you're um, doing a wonderful job, and it looks beautiful. To learn more information about the Mill Art Center, you can just go to our website. We have uh, our segments that we've done before. You can see the transformation and how Molly and her husband Brian have worked on this place, but don't go anywhere. You're going to meet Molly's dad, who's actually going to be a model for us. We're going to head back down to the first level. You won't want to go anywhere. We'll send it back to you for now. It's just a neat place. Thanks, Em.